Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International New Artist and Educator here. Today we are in with Jack and... Uh, Hi guys, <laughs> <yeah>. again. <laughs> and we're going to do those awesome news. Uh, rose gold, like some fire, some leaves and um, lots of different combinations. Mm -hmm. So it will be a pretty interesting video and I hope you will really enjoy watching it if you did consider to subscribe to my channel. So let's start doing this tutorial. You can have a look at those uh, news and you've got all those different things which we are going to do on them. And I have left this four news so I can show you um, the demo how to do it. Uh, so first we will start with the um, rose memory. I'm using the neo neo color and uh, just for a balance like if I'm checking I will swap so I will go for this color on those two news and that's what I'm going to do. It, was, it will give us really nice background for those um, lip and other rose gold designs. Something so, which is going to stand out. Mm -hmm. The diamonds. Yeah, the diamonds as well. We also paint them on the background as yeah, well, like you can see it. They all sparkle. Uh, they all sparkle because that have been an rebalance on those nails. They have been sculpted like ages ago and the natural nail didn't look nice underneath. So we decided just to paint it like, and uh, you've got some on my other videos, you've got the tutorial how to paint the nails underneath as well. You can check that. And then we also need some encapsulation of the glitter, but I will give it a flash cure to the snails. Mm -hmm. And then grab my clear gel, just so we can do a couple things at the same time. <coughs> and we'll encapsulate some glitter. You can see the pot is full of the glitter already. I love this part. The encapsulation, yeah, you say so that sparkly. you really love this glitter. I think I've had it and I don't know how many sets of nails now. So that's the glitter which we are going to use and I will take that. And the easiest way to encapsulate the glitter, I would do it just straight away when I'm doing the nail. Uh, I'm not a fan of doing it uh, when the structure is already on, uh, just because it makes the nail a bit thicker. So I have filed the free edge a little bit more. And now I'm just dabbing in all this glitter. We also quite like this, this sparkle, and I'm that going to nice. add it on as well. This one is quite nice because you could even encapsulate it in a top coat because uh, it's very thin. It's like a small pieces of the foil. It's like flakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little chunks. flakes. Awesome, give it a flash cure again. A flash cure is just like a couple seconds cure to freeze the product so it doesn't uh, run. And I quite often use this technique uh, so I can just work faster. And get more done at once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you constantly have to work fast in the salon, do you know what? Yeah, and the salon is so different it's to so different like to tutorials. <laughs> like, you're just like a full speed power on. <laughs> And I take this one back. Jack was, uh, Jack was actually good because uh, I was worried he might snap a nail or two. Because uh, he was <laughs> <sounds> really bad. <laughs> no, he was out yesterday and then working yeah. in the bar as well sometimes. So Yeah. And now I'm just encapsulating it with the clear gel all over. And at the same time, I'm going to apply a second layer of the... It's actually a beautiful color. That is a really nice color. I was going to try and stay away from pink this time, so I've had it the past two mm -hmm. times, but I just couldn't. 
but this is a different type yeah. of pink, so... Yeah, it's more a neutral pink, mm -hmm. it's not neon. Oh yes, you had the bright, bright had, coral, uh, yeah. neon corals last time. Yeah, they were so cool. Were they for a holiday or something? For a cream field. Oh, was, yeah. very cream was field. it good? It was amazing. Amazing, yeah. Definitely going back next year. <laughs> I might go with Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, shit. Inside, just give it a flash cure. So I can close my uh, clear gel. And because we are going to file the um, new, which is encapsulated, like to make sure it's nice and smooth. I will do all the parts uh, to protect my products uh, from uh, from the dust. Also, I can show you on this hand, you can see we have encapsulated um, some fire. And I will give you the links into the descriptions that just like with stickers. And I think it's pretty cool because that's quick to uh, encapsulate. You just put the sticker on, like, uh, make sure you file it, like, rub it it in so it sticks to the needle really well. I might actually pull some to show you how it looks because they're really nice and thin um, so very easy to encapsulate but because they're so thin they it's hard to get it to off. take them off. Oh, almost there. So yeah, it's this really nice and thin sticker, which you just apply it on. And it stays on really well, like, look, like, it's quite hard to peel it off. And uh, so I'll give you the link in the description uh, of this video, so you could uh, have a look where to get those um, stickers. Now let me have a look. Okay, so we need to put some matte top coat. And on this needle, we will do the lip design and on this one we will just stick on the gems Now this one is going to be the rose gold, so to achieve this look I'm going to use the no wipe gel and we need to cure it for uh, 60 seconds in the LED light. You can also see how nice the glitter uh, kind of comes off from okay. underneath as well. Uh, you can see also the natural neo as well, but from underneath, if we twist you this hand, you don't see it as much, and that's what I like about it. So give it a cure, exactly a 60 seconds cure, then now, and then we are going to use this rose gold pigment, and i show you guys again which one I've got. Um, I have bought, first of all, the one which was supposed to be rose gold, but obviously when you're buying some of stuff from eBay, you get like something opposite. <laughs> and it was like a totally disaster. It was like an orangey, brownie, nice. like uh, really not nice. So what I will do is I will give you a link in the description below as well, um, which one is a real rose gold so you don't waste your money. Uh, it's really rose gold. It's really, it's nice. really rose gold, exactly. I think it will be good to do the video of like, the worst spot product or something mm -hmm. as well. Okay, that would be cool. <laughs> so you don't waste your money on it. Uh, but yeah, this one is really nice rose gold and you can have a look into the pot. So it looks awesome and I show you how it looks once it's wrapped in to the needle. So that's the 60 cure, seconds cure done and I'm just rubbing it in. And it looks awesome. You can see it's really rose gold. Now I'll also show you what to do so the pigment stays on. So the main uh, thing to do it for a pigment to stay on is scratch the free edge, like file it. Because uh, what is happening, the gel only sticks into the 
shiny surface. Uh, the gel doesn't stick into the shiny surface. It only sticks into the rough or sticky surface. And uh, the no wipe is too shiny, too smooth. So the next layer of the top coat is not going to stick into it. That's why we create those scratches so it doesn't peel. And then using the foil design gel, we are going to do the design. And here on this one, we need to paint the lips as well. So I will do it two things at the same time. So can I just have a relook? Okay, so on this one, we need to just paint like a wee droppy bits. And I'm starting pretty close to the cuticle. Took us a few times to decide what we were actually going to do on this nail, didn't it? Uh, yeah, because I wanted it to go with other ones and yeah. the what we done the first we time. Had foil on we it. had foil on the rose gold foil, but it just didn't. Work. It just didn't work. Like didn't look didn't as nice. Yeah, it didn't look as nice as this did. And then we tried the drops in rose gold as well. No, but I think it just the looks black so much stands better out black. better. Yeah. So just a couple of drops. Now, before I cure it, I'll put lip, uh, draw the lips as well. And to draw the lips, I'm knitting the no white top coat. So I'm going to put this top coat just on the side in here. And we are going to draw the lips. Now, unfortunately, because I'm drawing with the top coat, you are not going to be able to see it what I'm drawing. But uh, this is the, the look we're going for. So I'm just dipping in my brush in a top coat. Maybe you will see it, but it's going to be pretty difficult uh, for you, I'm sure, uh, just because it is only a top coat. So I'm starting that with the top lip outline, and then I'm going to the bottom. And once I've got this, I can just shape my lips. I quite like to do the things like in a couple different stages, make the life easier and kind of work on the shapes. So I find that this way drawing the lips is the easiest way for me. Full concentration. <laughs> the, uh, the last time when we paint, was it the teeth? Uh, was the teeth that has the... the Biggest detail, and Jack my finger like started <laughs> totally moving as soon as Dorota went to it. Oh. But that was like a wee tick or something. It was like, weird. I just was watching my finger, and as soon as she started to go and paint the teeth, it started moving. Obviously, the longer time I will spend on it, the prettier they are going to look. Actually, the fact that the Neo is matte is also helping me a little bit to see more what I'm doing. Because imagine doing it on the shiny Neo. It would be so hard. Yeah, it would be definitely very hard. Now that's the droppy bits. I'm going to do it only a first layer of it because then later on once I um, paint the teeth I want to do it a bit more. So you can put it inside and we need to give it exactly a 60 second cure again. For the teeth, like for a mouth inside, I will be using an acrylic paint because I find that you get the thinnest, thinnest line with it. And you will be able to see that as well. So that's the paints which we are going to use. Now 
So that's it cure now and I can wrap the pigment in. Let's go how that works as well. It doesn't stack to the matte top coat. No, it doesn't stick into the matte top coat. It only sticks to the shiny, shiny top coat. And you can see we've got the lips, uh, which are in rose gold color now. Actually, it did because I must have something in my finger. So it did a little bit this time, but we will give it a clean. Yeah. Now, the next stage is to paint the inside the lips. So I'm just picking up a little bit of the white paint on French gel. And you can see we've got some teeth on the top and then the black background. So for a teeth, like uh, I'm really preparing my brush so it's really nice and thin. And also, with this detail, we can correct the shape of the lips as well. I might actually go and do this part with the gel as well. We have done the other one with the acrylic paints because with the acrylic paints you can get the thinnest lines ever. Obviously at this stage I cannot paint the teeth because we've got the white on cure and it would just smudge. Okay, I can give it a flash cure again. I take it back. And now this is going to be a very difficult one because I want to add a little bit more of those rose gold. Just on top of the lip. Back inside. The pigments are always so messy. They're so messy, they go everywhere. Mm -hmm. And this uh, last one, I'm going to use the uh, eyeshadow applicator just to make sure like I can be really precise because we've got some gel where the pigment can stick into it. Um, to do it without of risking the pigment can stick to it into the gel, you would apply the top coat, buff it, and then uh, paint with the... Um, uh, no wipe again to do the rose gold, but it would just take too much long time. And for a salon, I would just go and do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I take it back. So I'm just applying the pigment in these places here to make sure it doesn't go into my black. We need to also paint the teeth and to do that I'm just going back into my palette. Uh, I really love this one as well. I will give you the link in the description of this video too because it's amazing for mixing the paints and the gels as well. So for a teeth look what I'm doing. I'm really rolling my brush to make sure it's nice and uh, has a really good point. And then just drawing a very small lines. We can also touch up this place here.
just so it goes blacker. On this one we need to stick in the gems and on this one we need to apply the top coat. So to save the time, I'm going to apply the top coat on this nail. And I love that's at the end, it's more shimmery okay, because so the sculpture shimmer, is yeah. showing too. Okay, give it a cure. I can tidy up the messy parts. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is always messy. It's just everywhere. <laughs> uh -huh. Even when you're close and glare, it just mm -hmm. goes everywhere. You just covered in it. And then once it's cure, I can remove it. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a clean to this nail. And now I need to seal it with the top coat, but I'm going to only seal it the lips because we want all the rest of the nail to be, to be matte. So again, it's a pretty fiddly job. So I'm just sealing everything with the clear. So this way, this is not going to come off. Yeah, and if I'm happy, I can give it a cure again. If you like watching those uh, tutorials with Jack, <laughs> let me know in the comments and Jack will be happy to hear it as well, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. We could came up with more ideas. More ideas than we could set. Mm -hmm. I mean, just I love that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's something different. Yeah. So. And he's good at searching the ideas for the news, So <laughs> I've constantly got ideas saved on Instagram and Pinterest. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, spending all the weekend yeah. and after hours, like, okay. What ones am I getting next? <laughs> you probably got the plan for the next two years. Do you? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not that far on, but a few yeah, sets. Yeah, a few sets. I can't believe it's only another three sets and we're going to be at Christmas nails. Yeah, crazy Christmas nails. Mm. Do you want to see the Christmas nails too? Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments uh, again. Um, yeah, because Jack will be searching for the cool ideas totally. for Christmas, isn't yeah. it? Like, Unless yeah. you could get white for Christmas, but because I do hairdressing, it just gets stained no, so see, easily. It's white not, is just no use. It's not. So that's the encapsulated one. So I need to remove the inhibition layer and just give it a shape. I don't have to file a lot because uh, it was very thin application of the gel then give it a bath and apply the top coat and that's another new finish cool so just bath it. I think this design looks like it is going to take ages just because every nail is so different. different. But when you're working on two hands at the same time, so you just kind of keep swapping them. And I think it's not as bad. Uh, we actually start doing the set in between the clients mm -hmm. because there was no, <laughs> no space. No space, no time. And yeah, it, it went pretty quick. It did. It did. I would say about an hour and a half it took for the first hand. So we was really surprised it took us so... Because we both thought it was going to take longer than it did. Mm -hmm. And now, gems here and the top coat in here. For the gems I'm using my favourite glue, the brush on new glue.
And I think uh, because we've got those black gems, that's why we needed to... Put the black on the rose gold. Do the black, yeah. Just ties everything together. Mm -hmm. Does it want to start? <laughs> a bit too quick. And then the second row. I'm just checking what we have created <laughs> on the other one because usually it's kind of a random style. Yeah. I hope I took enough crystals from the sun. <laughs> <laughs> And the crystal stays on pretty well, well like uh, so doing well. Uh, this way. I have lost like some due to the gardening yesterday. But, but I've noticed when you like have more on as well, they stay better. They stay better when there's more of them there. Mm -hmm, there's only a few that become off too easy. See, when they when there is like one on top, like close to another, they give a support to each other. Yeah. And usually we kind of building up like the largest ones are right in the middle, and then the smallest ones are around it. And uh, it creates more smooth surface. Yeah. I think that's why they are lasting so much better. I mean, unless you're digging it in the garden. And a tiny, tiny one. Uh, if you want to go with the top cut around the crystals, you need to wait for the glue to dry really well, because otherwise you will damage your nail brush, uh, the bottle top, top cut brush, mm -hmm. yeah. So I give it a couple seconds for it to dry. And then we have to apply shiny top coat on this one and then the matte top coat on this one. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> <laughs> so that's the shiny top coat. <laughs> this is what's happening when you can't put your head into the camera. <laughs> You're working blind. Cool. And then the matte one and this one. Give it maybe a flash cure just in case. That should do. And the matte top coat, make sure you don't apply it on the top of the crystals. Because it'll make them not shiny. Mm -hmm. Imagine matte crystals. Oh, no. That wouldn't look very good, I don't think. So 
So yeah, after this set is done, you need to give me another idea, Jack. For I'll else. find <laughs> some find one. Yeah, Christmas was nice. Definitely Christmas news. Yeah. See, I a little bit don't like this shape at the end of the snail, so once we cure it, I will touch it with the nail file. So we go into the 60 second cure, so they're nice and shiny. And then I can show you the final look. So I have said, as I have said, if you do really enjoy watching this tutorial, consider to subscribe to my channel because there is uh, lots of different videos of the nail art and also how to do the rebalance and how to do the new set of the nails, how to apply crystals and Lots of lots of different things. Everything. <laughs> Everything, yeah. To keep everyone inspired. <laughs> and to keep everyone happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's it ready. So that's the one I'm going to touch up. Sometimes those touch of the new file can make the big improvement, so I like to do that. Clean the nails, apply the cuticle oil, because he doesn't do that. I need to start doing that. <laughs> I do. And that's the finished look, so I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you guys. Bye guys.